Hi lads and lasses, Modest Pelican here with Hitman 3. If you enjoyed this video, please eliminate the president of a western country and on the day of your very mediatized trial, wear a Modest Pelican t-shirt, as this really helps spread the good word of my channel. Welcome to England, where we'll be attending a pretentious garden show competition. Our target is an absolute baddie and one of the contestants, Evelyn Crane. This guy, Ken, hired us to take her out and also protect him as he wants first prize. Gardening has never been so dangerous. I'll be dressing appropriately with a sweater around my neck and white slacks. This should help me seamlessly blend in with the other materialistic closet racists, I mean guests. I'll be taking a tranquilizer, an exploding concussion duck with an adorable little hitman tie, and a briefcase with an RS-15 assault rifle in it in case I get hay fever. I make my way through the event looking exactly like someone who's here to murder people. It's time to sweep the premises and gather intel. I notice a man enjoying a vanilla ice cream cone, but jealousy gets the better of me, so I knock it out of his hand. This dodgy malacca then reaches into his inner suit jacket pocket and pulls out a fresh ice cream cone. He then levitates it in the air as he looks into my soul and I realize this man is a literal wizard. At this point, I'm pretty happy I brought the AR because if I have to fight a goddamn wizard, I'll need plenty of bullets. When I watched the Harry Potter films, I always wondered why they didn't use modern weapons. I mean, spells are great, but imagine having Hagrid circling above in an AC-130 gunship. Definitely couldn't have hurt their chances. I make my way to the first exhibit where this woman has achieved a balance of renewed modern art complemented by the raw and pure power of the semi-manicured vegetation. Goddamn, modest pelican gardening could actually happen. I arrive at the second exhibit, which was prepared by overly competitive Ken, aka the guy who hired me as an assassin. I walk in and admire all of the elements. The tranquil koi pond, the statue, the pavilion, the cherry blossom tree. It doesn't take a genius to realize that the style and architecture for this display is German inspired. I go and meet Ken under the pavilion so that we can kiss, I mean discuss our logistical and strategical advantages. He proceeds to act like he doesn't even know me, which is confronting. Everybody asks, hey, can you kill this guy? But not, hey, would you like to grab a Sunday brunch? The life of a hitman is one of solitude. I need to find my target so I continue perusing the event. Then all of a sudden I see it. She named her display, God Save the Green. I'm not exactly sure why, but this deeply angers me. It's not like I hate puns, but there's a line. This woman must die, and you must like the video. Her display is alright, I guess, it's pretty basic. It seems as if she's created this whole thing so that she has a peaceful place to sip her tea. English people and their tea is a stereotype as old as time. When I was travelling over there in my gap year, I had some sketchy dude offer me a hand job for $9. He didn't want the money for crack or FIFA packs, he wanted a 100 bag family jumbo pack of twinings. If I can slip something into her tea, I should be able to put the old girl down. I'll need to find some poison and also a way to disguise so I can spike her drink. In this game, girls won't be suspicious of dudes slipping pills into their drinks if they've got a waistcoat on. Take note, guys called Mato. On my way out, I see another exhibit, so I figure I might as well expand my agriculturalist mind some more. I look to my left and see a shisha, which is an obvious hint as to the origins of this display. The subtropical foliage, the archways, and of course the distinct tiling clearly suggest that this too is German inspired. We'll see you next week on Modest Pelican gardening. I head to the main area of the event where there is a bar and also a waiter, which is just who I need to undress. Not in a weird way, I just want to dress up in his clothes and pretend to be him. No matter which way you phrase this, it sounds pretty sus, but we'll be back later. The last exhibit is in the greenhouse and it's called Plants from Around the World. After a brief look around and using my up and coming gardening show host brain, I can concur that they appear to have plants from various regions scattering the entire globe. They even have little bonsai trees and the branches are probably only two or three inches in length, which is pretty short. Or is it long? Is it average? Ladies, what do you think of these branches? Are they at all impressive? Anyway, there is also a little poisonous frog, so I jostle with this big girl to try and get the prime viewing position. It's important at extravagant garden parties to be aggressive and become the alpha cultivator. I also notice the lid of the frog enclosure isn't on properly. If this was any other game, I wouldn't think much of it, but this is Hitman. I continue searching the grounds for some poison, but not before I see something that will scar me for life. I catch one of the security personnel making out with a maid. Just in case Agent 47 wasn't already stressed enough, he now has to deal with premarital relations. On the plus side, I find rat poison, but our objective has updated. Kill the unwed malakas. I notice a waiter having a smoke break, but there is a guard here as well. I proceed to activate Operation McTranky Trank Everyone. Not my best name for an operation, I'll admit, but the point is it doesn't go very well because the waiter saw my face, which isn't ideal. To make it worse, the sinful maid saw the waiter collapse to the ground, so it's safe to say things are beginning to escalate. Her non-husband is also getting curious 
curious, but not to worry comrades, this is why I bring assault rifles to gardening events. I take my gun out of the suitcase and start unloading bullets into everyone who could potentially blow my cover. At the end of the day, it's unavoidable collateral damage. There's nothing we could have done to prevent this. I hide two of the bodies in a dumpster, but it's now apparently full. As I try to drag the last body to a bush, I'm spotted by a patrol. Pretty dumb of me to drag the body out in the open like this, but in the words of Mr. Beast, hide the corpses and get that bag. I pretend to surrender and then hit him with a sucker's punch. Unfortunately, security swarms the scene and I'm tragically gunned down by the Yorkstone stairs. It'd take two and this time we won't drag bullet filled corpses through high traffic areas. I quickly go and check to see if my client is even still alive and he's getting his photo taken. I decide to crash the shoot, which is always a strange decision as there's now visual evidence that I was here today, but the lighting was just exquisite. I go back past the hellbound couple, grab the rat poison, trank the guard and the waiter, but this time way more tactically, or so I thought. The hero tries to stop me and so I unload half a mag into him. Nobody likes a sticky beak, Mr. Mind Your Own business. I also take down his baby girl in an excessively violent way. That will be a closed casket funeral. Fortunately, only I shot my gun and it was suppressed, so against all odds, the situation is contained and I now have a way to disguise. I head back to God Save the Green and slip the rat poison into my target's tea. I'm about to give a sweet old lady internal bleeding and I couldn't be happier. She takes several sips and then drops her cup and it smashes, which is incredibly wasteful. That was expensive crockery. I get that she's feeling unwell, but I don't see what damaging collector's edition Royal Dalton fine bone china achieves. She makes her way over to a port and begins trying Trying to throw up the poison. I proceed to drown her and this has to be one of the stranger things I've uploaded to YouTube. Drowning a sweet old lady so some German dude can win a gardening competition. Such is life. Evelyn Crane eliminated and I begin to run for my escape, but it's not over. I make it to the exit, but then I'm given a second surprise target. Lucy Phillips, one of the judges of this whole shambles. If you look closely, you can see a red dot on her forehead known as a bindi, so she's clearly of German heritage. I begin searching the grounds for Lucy and spot one of the gardeners and he's fishing. This is probably the biggest day of his career as gardening connoisseurs have gathered from all over the world and he decides now's the time to try and catch lunch in a still water river. He's actually doing a pretty good job, so I take one of the fish. You never know when you might need a fresh fish. While scouting, I notice a guard is trying to catch one of the poisonous frogs. Now I like a relaxed work environment, but is anyone here actually doing their job? I manage to catch one, and I shall call it Stealthomato's mother. I continue trying to catch frogs for a while, and then realize I've become what I mocked. I'm an assassin, not a herpetologist. I change into the sinful security guard disguise and also find an axe by some firewood. I then spot Lucy cruising around the event. I proceed to stalk her so that I can learn her habits. I then proceed to give her a little hip and shoulder which makes her immediately focus on me and combined with the rusty axe, it's safe to say that I'm looking suspicious. I do my best to blend seamlessly into the party. Observe how I insert myself into this group of women who are all wearing pants suits so you know they never get laid. I follow Lucy into the greenhouse which could be the perfect time to strike. Unfortunately, it's far too crowded, but I do destroy one of the exhibits as I'm not a part of this system. I discover she has a soft spot for sushi as she regularly chows down. Summer bodies are built in winter, Lucy. One of the bartenders walks off, and so I decide to stalk him. I could get the waiter outfit off the first guy, but then I wouldn't get to use the fresh fish I stole, and that seems like a waste of perfectly good fresh fish. I hide in the bush and throw the fish to lure him close. Thank God we grabbed that. I then remember I have the exploding concussion duck, so I attempt to use that, but it doesn't work at all, so I have to knock him unconscious, but not before he looks right into my eyes, getting a great look at my face. Another witness, whose neck I proceed to snap. I head back to the sushi and sprinkle the poisonous flower I picked on top. While waiting for Lucy to circle back, I tend bar, but my only customer is this bloke who keeps aggressively scratching his crotch. I'm not sure if this is an alpha play or what, but sure enough, Lucy comes back and chows down on some sushi, which if I'm not mistaken, is a traditional German cuisine. And clutching her stomach, she beelines it for the bathroom. In fact, the exact same port but it looks like they've cleaned up the body. It just feels wrong to drown her again, so I pull out my assault rifle and do what I have to do. This is satisfying, but it also alerts several people as the gunshots are 
against the plastic were quite loud. I flee the garden party earning a 2 star rating, which leaves plenty of room for improvement and growth. Tomorrow in the Discord we're running a live Q&A using their new event feature. We'll be dragging people up to ask questions in front of the whole community, it should be a fun time. The Discord link is in the description if you wanted to come along. Also a massive thanks and shout out to all my Discord and Twitch mods who helped me out a ton. Thanks for watching you absolute legends, until next time and as always, stay classy.